Check out the most detailed image ever taken of Planetary Nebula NGC 5414. Needless to say, this was taken by the James Webb Space Telescope. This JWST image of the nebula, also known as the Crystal Ball Nebula, really brings out the dusty rings, and it's thought that the two bright stars in the centre of the image help form this nebula, which is why we see this double ring structure. Don't forget, planetary nebulae actually don't have anything to do with planets. They're the remnants of a dying star that has shed most of its atmosphere into space, and then the remaining hot, luminous core of the star ionizes all the ejected gas and gives us these spectacular objects. Planetary nebulae are formed by stars from about 1 to 8 solar masses and only last a few tens of thousands of years, so their lives are brief compared to the lifetime of the Sun that could be about 10 billion years. The Wikipedia page for Planetary Nebula is really good and clears up the uh, misnaming. If you're wondering what the NGC and NGC 1514 stands for, it's an abbreviation of New General Catalogue of Nebulae and Clusters of Stars. It was compiled in 1888 by John Dreyer and contains 7,840 objects, including galaxies, star clusters, and emission nebulae. Astronomers use a bunch of these different catalogues to identify objects, and it's quite common for the same object to be listed in multiple catalogues. For example, the Pinwheel Galaxy is listed as Messier 101, but also NGC 5457, UGC 8981, PGC 50063, and ARP 26. Dreyer himself published two supplements to the NGC called the Index Catalogues, and those contain another 5,386 objects. That's probably more than you ever wanted to know about astronomical catalogues, but at least the next time you see an NGC or an IC number, you'll have a rough idea of what's going on. That's today's short. I'll see you back here tomorrow.